Today, the case of a duck hunter gone missing 17 years ago in North Florida took a new twist. Capitol Bureau reporter Mike Vasilinda tells us more. Mike Williams loved to hunt, so when he went missing just before Christmas in 2000, it was investigated as an accident. Co-worker Brett Ketchum. We just assumed that there was an accident in the lake. Suspicions grew when no body was found. He was quickly declared dead. Life insurance policies were cashed in, and within five years, the widow and best friend married. I know that I deserve punishment. The marriage unraveled completely after the best friend turned husband kidnapped Denise Williams in 2016. It comes down to my life or his. Now Denise Williams has been indicted on first-degree murder charges, conspiracy to murder, and being an accessory after the fact. Uh, these are all punishable by life uh, offenses. She's being held without bond. Her attorney calls the charges fiction. We're going to fight it, and we're going to get acquitted. And he flipped. Apparently. Well, I don't know what he flipped. I think he made something up. That's a big difference between flipping and fiction. But prosecutors say the defense doesn't know what they know. To make comments on what the evidence is or is not is premature. Mike Williams' body was found here, not too far from the state capitol, but 50 miles away from where the grand jury says he was killed. Coworker Ketchum says the arrest validates most people's suspicions. I, I think we saw this day coming. It took a long time, though. Absolutely. When asked if Brian Williams would be indicted, prosecutor John Fuchs had few words. Uh, no comment at this time. In Tallahassee, Mike Vassalinda, News Channel 8. Brian Winchester, the new husband, is serving a 20-year sentence for kidnapping Denise Williams. This afternoon, the state opened an investigation to determine if the death was part of a scheme to fraudulently profit from his life insurance policies. More than $2 million was reportedly paid out.